let's talk about the state of Diablo 4. First, don't forget to like, follow, and subscribe. You know, all the crappy button clicking. Now, who am I, you might ask? The answer is Patty Poo King. Why does my opinion matter? Well, it really doesn't, but I want to share it. My Diablo journey started many, many years ago on the PlayStation with Diablo, which moved on to Diablo 2 on PC and then Diablo 3 on different means of access throughout the years. I even got onto the leaderboard with a monk. Needless to say, I enjoy the franchise. When the Diablo 4's beta came out, I immediately downloaded the game, but I only played it long enough to realize I was going to love it as much as the other three versions that came before it. So I stopped after about an hour. When the early access came, well, I bought the retail version and waited the few extra days like a sane person. But rest assured, when the Eternal Realm launched to the full general public, I was waiting. I put 240 hours into my first character in the one and a half months that the Eternal Realm launch gave us. I enjoyed the crap out of it. You can tell by the 10 days of playtime I logged into the character. Though, even with that many hours logged, I didn't even get to level 100. The Season 1 Catastrophe Well, right from the start, Season 1 was riddled with drama. It was very difficult to look outside of the game and not immediately run into vitriol. I played for only nine days for the entire season, though so my actions did speak for themselves. I too felt the vitriol. Though I did not share it publicly, I shared it physically through my actions. This is calculated purely through my time spent logged into the game. To me, this seems like a pretty simple metric. Even the people that screamed they hated the game, if they spent 500 hours logged into it, they liked it. Sorry if that's a hot take. Unfortunately, the vast majority of the player base had the same physical response to the game as me and played it a lot less. This actually facilitated a knee-jerk reaction with Season 2 that showed signs of rock bottom. The only way to go was up by the end of Season 1. I'll start by listing my hours in Season 2. 55 hours on a level 100 Necromancer, 18 hours on an 84 Sorcerer. 60 hours on a level 100 Druid, and 130 hours on a level 100 Hodabarb, who at the time was the most fun I had in the game. Because, again, the most important metric is attention. They brought in a bunch of endgame bosses. They made Uber Uniques accessible to everyone, though to be honest, <laughs> I counted my Duriel kills before I got my Uber. It was 105. That's not a joke. But I enjoyed the grind. It reminded me of grinding bail runs, you know, the good old days. Blood Harvest was so, so much fun. The non-stop action was great, and when the monsters slowed down, you could pop the three pedestals in the middle, and the action just went nuts again. People who got bored, lots came back. At this point, you might be wondering when I will start bashing the game, like all the other content creators. Well, I'd also maybe ask them how many hours they put into the game. Just curious. Admittedly, I did not make it to the end of Season 2, but that's okay. I don't like dislike the game. I just played the crap out of it. And now on to Season 3. Still here, on my first character. I made another Barb. I'm not great with change, and boy am I glad I went with her. Season 3, The Barbarian Builds. This character is shaping up to be my favorite Diablo 4 character of all time. The gameplay in this video is of me clearing vaults in the World Tier 4 using a charge build that is just the most fun I have had yet. There is just something satisfying about body slamming a bunch of demons into the wall and having them explode and cascade more explosions from each other. This is great. I'm having a blast. Now, does Diablo have some bugs? Sure. They constantly lock out trades. I get it. <laughs> they don't fix the underlying issue? Sure. But who cares? I don't get how that affects anyone aside from the gold farmers, and no one cares about them, obviously. So really, if you spend 500 hours playing the game, go touch grass instead of complaining about it. Actions speak louder than words, so don't listen to me. Again, don't forget to like, follow, and subscribe if you want to see more videos like this. 
You can find me anywhere that you can log in with a name at Patty Pooking. Live every day on Twitch and YouTube.